Welcome back. Today we're talking about McFarland Reserve Select Cask Strength Bourbon Whiskey. 109.6 proof. Got it at Total Wine and Novi. Said right on their little sticker said, Bourbon Junkies Pick. Now it's not a pick from them, but is it any good? Stay tuned. Find out. Welcome back. Like I said, today we're talking about McFarland's Reserve Select Cast Strength Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey 109.6 proof. Like I said earlier, and I didn't have it in the Epic Bourbon Hall because I wanted to just show this one. You can go out of Total Wine and Novi, or I'm pretty sure anywhere in Michigan, and they're going to have this. And the guy and I, the floor manager and I, Carl, were talking about it, and he says, hey, this is a Bourbon Junkies pick. I said, they actually pick it? He goes, no, no, they've talked about it. Well, I've been watching the Bourbon Junkies before the Rona, and I don't remember this. But, hey, I love the Bourbon Junkies. They were the first guys that I cut my teeth on uh, for getting into Bourbon 1. They're in Michigan. They're about two hours away from me. Uh, Pours in the Park was just this weekend. I wished I could have went, or this past weekend, wished I could have went. But being my birthday weekend, the wife and the daughter had other plans for me. So... We know that this is, unfortunately, the mash bill is not known. I've looked everywhere online, couldn't find it. And the age is not age stated. So it's rumored to be between three to four ish years. Let's see what the back says McFarland's Reserve Select is cast strength weeded bourbon, perfected in small batches and unadulterated yep, after the aging process. It's akin to drinking our McFarland's Reserve right out of the cask, providing a bolder, more intense flavor. The embodiment of our rebellious spirit, unsullied, pure, and ready to savor. It is distilled in Kentucky, bottled in Kentucky by Kentucky Whiskey Bottling Company in Harrisburg, Kentucky. That's about all the information that you're really going to get on everything, like the company, mash bill, age. So you so see we got a little bit in history, got a little bit in what the bottle's about. Like I always say, what's that juice like inside? Let's find out. Oh, and the, sorry. The MSRP on this was about 50 bucks. So let's get into the nose. See, I get a dried fig, an apple, and an apricot. It's a very light fruity night, so it's, it's, a, it's a pleasant nose. Get a little bit of strawberry, just very faint. This has been sitting out for about 20, 25 minutes. You can see it's a very light color, but it is coating the glass really, really nice all the way around. She's got some legs, or the little skinny ones, but they're there. And then you get your caramel and your oak note, but it's very faint. Got it into the nose. Let's go for that taste. Right off the get-go, it tastes like honey and oak. Coats the palate. Completely coats the palate. All the way across the mouth to the top of the roof, and it slides down. There's a slight Kentucky burn. It's just kind of settling right here, but it's nice. That apricot note really punches through on this now. Like if you taste it like that, you, you can taste it. It's almost like um, you had an apricot dipped in honey. That's what, that's what that's, that sounds weird, but that's what that tastes like. It's sweet, but it's just, again, like a mild Kentucky, mild Kentucky hug. Let's get into a second taste. Yeah, the oak note is there. It doesn't drink 110. This would probably be great uh, with over ice. Backyard. Nice. So we're getting into the dog days of summer. Chilling out in the backyard around a fire. I bet you this would be fantastic. As again, as a, another old, an old fashioned. It just has a very sweet note. It's different. But you had to add that. You had the bitters, the, the syrup. And then you got the orange. I like maraschino cherries. I like the dirty cherries. But I bet you that would just taste, I bet you that would taste amazing. It's a good bottle. I mean, if you see it, is it worth the 40? Yeah, I, honestly, uh, the junkies, are, their palates like my palate and Jason's and Matt's. They're rough. I'm finding we're all kind of in that universe of what we kind of like. I like savory and sweet. That's my jam. This is savory and sweet. Again, that, that finish is still going. 
And again, like that Kentucky burn is just light right here and it kind of blossoms and it's not heavy. It's not make your eyes water. There's no real ethanol -y note on it. As you can see, I got it past the shoulder. But on that, it's pretty good. I would pick it up if you can see it. Again, my name is Brian. It's the Average Whiskey Drinker channel. Like I always say, find a bottle, open the bottle, enjoy the bottle. Because good whiskey is always meant to be shared. Like, comment, subscribe please below. Um, if you've had this or their regular bourbon, please let me know. I'll talk with you all soon.